All right, I really quickly wanted to show you guys a tool that you can use in Schoology to help students. Uh, I really wanted my students to take notes, uh, but beyond just taking notes, I wanted them to kind of self-check to make sure that they understood what was in the notes before they moved on. So here's an example of that. Here's uh, my week one folder, and I have these notes double replacement reaction. You'll notice it's a quiz and there's a reason for that. But the idea is the students would come, let me give you a preview, and the first thing they'd be greeted was with a video maybe I created it or I took it from YouTube that says take notes on the video and then when you're done use those notes to kind of do a little self check-in so they can do this little self check-in they can see the instructions here and it would kind of quiz them on making sure that they understood what the main points of the video if any of you are familiar with a little tool called Edpuzzle this is very familiar very similar to Edpuzzle not as interactive but it's a tool that's free that we already have in Schoology um, so I want to show you how you can do this fairly easily within Schoology so I'm going to go back to my folder. To do it, I'm going to go ahead and create a material, and I'm going to add a test or quiz. Now, typically, test or quiz are used for summative assessments, but in this case, I just want it to be a little bit of formative assessment. So I might call these notes double replacement reactions. Uh, I can, it can be graded if you want it to be or ungraded. To me, it's just ungraded because I want my students to take notes and mostly self-check and check their own understanding. Now, typically, when you start a test or quiz, it starts you to add questions right away. But I'm going to jump to the settings tab. Here's where it has the instructions. This is what's greeted. This is what is the students are greeted with at the very beginning. So I'm going to write a little direction here. Um, watch the following lecture. Take notes and check your understanding of the quiz. So how do we add a video? Well, it's super simple. You come to this button here. It says insert content. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert image or media. Now, if you recorded the video yourself, maybe you did it on your phone, you can go ahead and just attach a file right here. Or if you did it with another tool like Screencastify, that's there as well. There's um, right here, I'm going to go ahead and just do from the web because I found it on YouTube. So I'm going to go to my YouTube video. Here's my YouTube video that I found on the web. And I'm going to come down to share and I'm going to find the embed code because I want to embed it into my actual page. So I'm going to copy that embed code control C or I can click copy down here. I'm going to go back to Schoology and I want to make sure my type is set to media and notice it says link or embed. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste that whole embed code right there and click insert media. You'll notice in your instructions box, this large yellow box appears. That's the video. It's just processing it and it will process it when I click save. Um, I'm going to change a few settings such as enabling the submissions. That's important so they can actually take it. Uh, I might randomize it just to encourage if they do need to take it multiple times that they're actually thinking about what the question is. Um, I'm going to let them take it as many times as, as they need to make sure that they get the highest score. I want them to review their questions. I want it to be resumable so they can come back to it as well as view their submissions. I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. So that's basically it. The only other thing I need to do is add questions. But here, if I come to the preview after it's done thinking, here's the beginning, right? So that we can watch the video and then they can start a new attempt for the questions. So the last thing I need to do would just be to add questions. So I might watch the video, uh, find some points in the video, the main points of the video, and ask questions there to make sure that they watch the video and they understand the main points. All right, good luck. I hope it's a useful tool for you.